I'm excited for leg day, which is saying something. Don't tell people, lifting makes me a better human. You still might be an a-hole. The reason I love golf. Go, baby. I dug halfway to China on that. Call me daddy. Good morning. It is insanely foggy here this morning. We're on our way to the gym. I'll give you a little little view as to what things look like. This is what we're dealing with this morning. St. George usually is a blue sky, 300 days of sunshine. So this, this is crazy. Breakfast this morning, banana. Like, well, for starters. And then uh, just a protein shake. So we got leg day today. Today we'll be focused a little bit more on hamstrings. And then I, I love today because it's also a day that we're hitting some glutes. So it's the second leg day of the week. And then it's just, it's busy. But we're, what we've done is we've kind of rearranged the offices at the gym, fitness culture, the gym I own here in St. George, Utah. We're trying to get it to a place where we're profitable. I buy a new building and that building has a lot more fun and goodies inside. So. Shabuya, yeah, yeah, Shabuya. Doing some cool stuff with the gym, have some great trainers, I'm gonna be getting some more merch. So I gotta sit down today and meet about merch. Also got to sit down today. Gotta put a mailbox in at the house. Got the guy who's gonna be redoing the fireplace at the house. That way we can give you guys a little home tour. Good morning. I'm excited for leg day, which is saying something. So on the program today, it's gonna be 90 minutes on the Fitness Culture app. If you guys haven't checked our app, do so right now. It's in the link. We do have our challenge going on really until first part of February. So you guys can jump in that. We're gonna jump into this two rounds through the lower body warm up, and then into high bar box squat. Be an athlete today. This is a defensive stance. This is my football stance. This is my tailback stance. Be an athlete. All right, guys. First exercise is going to be a high bar box squat. So what we're going to do? We're going to set up low bar is when we just allow that bar to get a little bit lower on our back, and that's going to promote more of a hip hinge. That torso is gonna kinda of come over. Oh, it's really gonna be a lot more posterior chain. With a high bar box squat, we're narrow, heels all the way back. I'm just under, shoulder width apart, heels all the way back to that box. And as I go down, you can see that torso staying nice and upright. And what that's doing, driving that knee forward of your toes. So it's incorporating a lot more quad than a low bar back squat. So. We're gonna be right in this area here. Still don't wanna see these cave in. As we come down, we're still in a good squat position, but you're seeing, boom, we touch back up to the top. A little bit more quad focus today. All right, on to our second exercise. We're actually gonna be supersetting barbell Romanian deadlift with a calf raise. Bend the knees slightly. So we're nice and tight in the core, knees crack. And then from here, I'm thinking butt back. I'm holding groceries in my head, holding you know a bag of groceries. I gotta close a car door behind me. So I'm bumping it with my butt. That idea of going back instead of bending over to the ground, that is the key to this movement. We got 12, 10, 8 on this. It's gonna get heavy, but do it properly. Up next, we have a three-way lunge. Now, might sound easy enough, but I'm gonna explain it here because there are some little nuances to it. We're gonna be working essentially with the right leg as the lunge. First one, forward lunge. Right leg goes down, we track. The next one, weight comes in, right leg out to the side, boom. And now the reverse lunge, this is where the right leg is actually what we're posting on. Left leg goes back, boom. That's one rep. We have four of those, so. Right leg forward, right leg to the side, 
Left leg back. Two. It's gonna take a little bit of time, especially with that side lunge. And then post. Three. Four. From here, we're switching legs. Left leg. Left leg. Whoa, that side's not as good. And then back with the right. Hi. I always get time for a little pregnant wife. Always nice to get a, a good leg day in. We got some, still got some work ahead of us. Probably about a little more than, or a little less than halfway through. I feel like legs are something that, because I can neglect, meaning that like they're a better body part of mine. I've noticed in the last year, I don't need to train legs. You know, I got big enough legs, but that's not why I train legs. I don't train legs to have big legs. I am gonna have big legs. I can do them once a month and they're gonna still say decent size. I don't know what the hell you feeding him, but he is too damn big! That's why I do legs like in that three-way lunge. There's stability, there's being able to change directions or load on a different plane that mean I'm gonna be better at performing and then ultimately longer longevity. We talk about people, you know, as they get older, they stop being able to squat, they stop being able to touch their toes. It's like as you do this kind of stuff and do it with the correct movement pattern, you're gonna be an athlete so much longer, but you're also just gonna be a better human from a health perspective so much longer. Don't tell people lifting makes me a better human. It might, but I can't prove that. Prove that it makes you a healthier person in the long run, but I can't, I can't prove that it makes you a better person. You still might be an a-hole. All right, locked in for our last superset for legs before we have core. My feet are a little bit elevated on this, but it's basically gonna be feet in a squat with position. Remember to push through your heels. We don't need to do anything crazy on this. So we take it off. I like to put my hands here push through the hips or push through the heels. We have this superset with a lunge position hamstring curl, so we're gonna go do that right now. We're gonna set up in a, in a lunge position. You might have to go lighter. Definitely finding it that when you got one leg doing all the work. Leg day, done and dusted, always feels good. Now the rest of the day only gets better when you hit a leg day. Let me know what you guys wanna see in the next YouTube video on Fitness Culture Channel. All right, one of my goals is to get 10,000 steps each day. I'm also wanting to do is work on something golf related an hour a day. Could be putting, could be chipping. So today it's just getting out of here after a leg day. Oh, I made this par four a lot longer than it needed to be. I'm 189 out. I'm gonna go at it with a seven. I got a good lie. Pushed it out left, or pulled it left. It gives me a chance. All right, we left ourselves 12, 13 yard putt, or 12 or 13 foot putt. New putter, let's do it. Go. Ugh. Oh yeah, it's not a bad shot. You see my, my ball there? I think I picked the right club. Hit it, hit it, hit it. Oh. All right, par four. Gonna let the big dog eat on this one. It's a little bit of a dog leg right, so I haven't been able to hit a fade all day, but that's not gonna stop me from trying. Oh, that's pretty damn good. That is pretty damn good. I'm guessing that was about 315. The reason I love golf, it's kind of like the exact opposite of lifting weights, meaning the harder you try, the more you tense, kind of plays against you on the course. I will say lifting weights, having quick twitch muscle fibers, if you cannot tense them, keep them loose, but fire, that's where golf magic happens. Lauren Borgmeyer, you can just tell. We talked, we did a video together. He's a long drive guy. Dude's got quick twitch muscles for days. Played basketball, you can tell. Can jump up, dunk it, no problem. Like, absolutely fast twitch. 
Myself, I'd say I'm somewhere in the middle. Long enough to hit bombs, but I'm pretty fast switch muscle actually too. 101 yards, dang it. So just shot the pin 101. So I only hit this 313, a little bit of a letdown. Three yards of rollout on that. So it's about a three, I'll, I'll say a 310 carry. Got my 58. Oh, it's right at it. Go baby. Oh, let's go. That is a healthy divot right there. I'm not gonna lie. I dug halfway to China on that, but we're we're in really tight. Not a bad birdie opportunity. All right, we got uphill. Gonna be moving pretty pretty big left to right to left. Awful, awful putt line too. Go, hit it. There's a par. Still two over. Long par four. Oh, drawing. It's not great. It's not great. Phone died, so I'm charging it up. I ended up shooting a 38, two over. That par five that I was basically on the edge of the green, three putted that, chipped, two putted for par. Thought for sure I was gonna get a birdie. Next hole, par three, par. Had a really great shot, had a chance at birdie, par it. Next hole, last hole was a par five. That one I did birdie because I had an amazing chip, best chip of the day. So ended up shooting a 38, two over par. I had so many three putts and bad chips that I feel like I should have ended that day two under par. Like honestly, I felt like I played well enough to be two under par, but my chipping is so bad. Putting's average, driving's good, irons are decent, but when it comes to chipping, awful, and I gotta be better at putting. So right now we're about to eat. Oh, oh, oh Hobbs can hear. Mom's making food. Go see, go see, go. So damn cute, I love that dog. I'm gonna throw on this hat and I'm gonna go out. Ask Morgan to call me daddy. Let's see what she says. Dinner in the cookhouse brought to you by Morgan Rose Maroney. Oh no, he didn't. Cook. Hey babe, yeah, I just wanna be referred to as this. Dad. D, dad D by you. Daddy, call me daddy. This is Myra, our good friend. <laughs> Just here for all my awkwardness. <laughs> um, she off? brought us, yeah, I just wanted to, I'm gonna get coffee right if I have. Oh my gosh, she brought the most delectable, is that a word, delectable? Yeah, yeah. These are all Biscoff, or as Morgan calls it. I call it Biscoff too, but some people only call it Lotus. Lotus. I noticed Biscoff there are some friend. missing. <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> You guys blaming me? Yeah. Just, <laughs> just, I was like, um, just, hello? just realize every time you point a finger at me, <laughs> you got three pointing back at yourselves. <laughs> okay. You didn't do this with the dad jokes earlier. <laughs> you know? Yes. You know? With, the, with honestly, with great power, with this hat, <laughs> oh with great God. power comes great responsibility oh to God. make the worst, best dad jokes ever. Okay. Yeah. This and then this and then cuddles with that. And then cuddles the you and dad. She's around, where is she? Oh, she's over there. Okay, good night. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Yeah.